Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So to speed up browsing, web browsers store copies of website data on your computer, which is a set of files called a cache, as you may well know. Now, when you load a website, you often see a local copy of elements from the site, things like images and so on, that have been pulled from the local cache on your computer. Now, normally when the browser loads a website and detects a change, it fetches a new version of the site from the remote web server and replaces the cache. But as you and me both know, sometimes this isn't a perfect process and sometimes your browser ends up with a local copy of the website data in your browser cache that doesn't match the latest version on the server so things can look a little bit off on some websites when that happens. So to fix this, you need to force the web browser to discard what is already it already has in its cache and then download the latest version of the website, which for a lot of people is simply called a hard refresh. Now, something to take note of. Clicking the refresh arrow or the reload button, which is also known uh, in, some web, in some web browsers, uh, in the browser's address bar yeah, to the left-hand side or the toolbar, is not a hard refresh. That just refreshes the page. A hard refresh, as mentioned, forces the web browser to discard what it already has in its cache and then download the latest version of the website. Now, something else to take note of, this isn't going to delete your whole cache. I've posted a separate video on that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. This is just going to download the latest version of the website you're currently visiting to refresh the page and get everything looking um, A and OK again. So how we do this, as mentioned, is... Uh, we use a hard refresh and performing a hard refresh is easy and the commands vary depending on the browser and operating system you're using and to perform a quick hard refresh it can be done by using a couple of shortcut keys on your keyboard and starting with google chrome i'm just going to work on chrome edge and firefox for the purpose of this video so starting with google chrome what you would do on your keyboard is hold down the control key and then click the reload button. There we go. And you can see that takes a little bit longer to reload. And you'll also notice when we go through that action, as you perform the hard refresh, you should see the web page go blank, as we saw in this case. And the reloading process will take longer than usual. And that's because the browser, as mentioned, is re-downloading all the data and images on that site. So that's using um, control and pressing the reload button in Google Chrome. And something else in Google Chrome you can do is you can hold down the control key once again and you can use F5 on your keyboard. And that'll do the same thing. There we go. That's a hard refresh. So that's how we do it in Google Chrome. Now moving over to Microsoft Edge. And for Microsoft Edge, what you would do in this browser very similar to Google Chrome, you hold the control key down and then you click the refresh button. And the same would apply. There we go. It takes a little bit longer to reload because it's actually clearing the cache of that website. Or, same as Google Chrome, you can hold down the control key and once again press F5 on your keyboard. And it does the same thing, so you get the idea. And then last but not least, moving over to Firefox. And for Firefox, um, similar but a little bit different. So for Firefox, once again, you hold the control key and you would press the F5 um, button at the same time. So control and F5 once again. And there we go. The same applies. That's a hard refresh. And something else as an alternative, you can hold down the control, shift and the R key in Firefox. And this will do the same thing. There we go, hard refresh. So that's just a quick way how you can perform a hard refresh, as mentioned, which will force the web browser to discard what it already has in its cache and download the latest version of that particular website you are visiting. And as mentioned, don't get this confused with a simple reload or a simple refresh. That's a different thing altogether. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.